exit interviews are not compulsory, but it's seen as good practice to conduct one when a member of staff leaves. In this film, our team of experienced former head teachers will be considering how a new head can effectively handle and make the most of an exit interview. First, let's meet the team. Alan Key, now retired, has 36 years experience in education, with 15 as a head teacher. Peter Lawrence is development director at a trust of eight schools. He has over 30 years experience in education, 13 of them as a head teacher. Colin Richardson, also retired, has a total of 41 years experience in education, with 16 spent as a head. The panel has had an email from head teacher Jim. He's concerned about an upcoming exit interview. One of my assistant heads is leaving at the end of the year. I'm really gutted because he's such a well-respected member of the team. I'm about to conduct an exit interview, but I've never done one before and can't see what I can gain from it. Have you got any advice to get the most from this situation? First thought is that an exit interview can be just as useful as an appointment interview in, in terms of helping understand why a colleague might be leaving. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an entitlement to, to the leaving colleague to have an opportunity to talk it through and also a good opportunity for the school to analyse why it is that this particular colleague is leaving and, and what wider lessons could be learned. Under those circumstances, um, they can be completely honest with you. The decision's been made, they are moving on. Uh, presumably they've got some good reasons for it and uh, it would be interesting to explore exactly what the reasons are. And I think the tone of it definitely needs to be to make it clear to, uh, to the member of staff that you are sorry that they're leaving and um, whilst there's nothing you can do about that it would be useful to try to get something constructive out of the process. Maybe that, that, that he genuinely can't work with the new head and that might be something that the head could explore with him. The panel's first piece of advice is to use the opportunity for honesty to understand all the reasons why a valued member of staff is leaving. There may be something personal because I noted that, that, that Jim said that he was really gutted that the mm, colleague yeah. was leaving and uh, that might be worth exploring and it's how you clearly you might take that personally but it's how you depersonalise it and learn from it. My advice would be to stress to him that the discussion you're going to have is going to be absolutely confidential. It might not, you might not hear things that you actually want to hear, but at least you can learn from them in looking to how you might replace him. The panel's next piece of advice is not to take the decision personally and keep the discussions confidential. I think I would be particularly interested to know um, for future planning and for replacing this colleague if there's some particular aspect of the job uh, which is found impossible to do because it would be a mistake obviously to try and replace this colleague with someone doing exactly the same job description if there's something about the job description or the role that doesn't quite work so that you can plan more effectively for how the leadership team is structured in the future. What I've done in the past is to do thumbnail sketches of all the tasks that the uh, senior leadership team have to do and when you put that on one piece of paper you can spot gaps. Now in this case here if he had thumbnail sketches of the senior team he could discuss with this colleague where his role was going wrong, why he was leaving, how he could make it improve it for, for, for the future. You know use it as the opportunity to start a discussion with other colleagues on the senior management team, with senior staff, with governors and just get some other views as to whether they think this is you know something has not been working properly here and if it hasn't been working do we need to change it for the future. The panel's third piece of advice is to use the interview to reflect on the role of the staff member who's leaving and the structure of the senior leadership team. I've fallen into that trap sometimes when I think this, this key person, if this key person leaves, it'll be the end of the world. <laughs> who will we get mm. to replace him? Mm. But quite often you get someone who comes in with, with different skills, different talents, who can move the school forward in a different way which uh, is equally as strong. You can have exit interviews which are actually a, virtually a celebration of what the person has achieved and wishing them well in the future and uh, provides an opportunity for someone else and you really feel that you know, the school has done its role in developing that particular member of staff and, uh, and, and it's 
a natural process sometimes that people move on and take up different roles. The panel's final tip is to be positive and look forward to the future opportunities for both parties. To summarise it, I think we feel that this is an opportunity for Jim. Having an interview with him like this could give him great insights into how he could move the school forward in the future and plan uh, a successful curriculum in, in, in the future. Mm.